Hi everyone! Um, the wonderful leaf from um, that lady um, tagged me and a bunch of other people with the packaging pet peeves tag. And um, of course I'm happy to oblige and um, answer these. Um, it's not a question tag, but um, I like this um, tag in general because I think it is quite interesting. And maybe companies will actually get an idea if they start watching those videos as to what people who use their products actually like and what they don't like. So, um, that being said, I went through my bathroom and my makeup and all that and looked at all the products hard and tried to figure out what I like and what I don't like. Now, um, I have a bit of a disclaimer and that is that I might actually pop up in different outfits and makeups um, as this video goes on because I don't think I'll have the time to edit this in the upcoming few days. So um, if I come up with uh, more pet peeves, packaging pet peeves of mine, I will definitely um, just uh, sit down again and film another little clip that I will just add to the end of the packaging pet peeves that I will tell you about today. So um, with that being said, uh, let's just start right in. My first packaging pet peeve is this here. Now, um, you may have seen this in my empties video and um, maybe even my, um, my one haul video that I have filmed in the past uh, half a year, I guess. This is a wonderful pump dispenser, which in theory I like, but there is no way I can see in how much product I have left. I tried shining a flashlight through, which works with most products. But I feel as soon as the um, product inside is um, a very light color, you can't really see where you are. So um, this will inevitably run out without you knowing it and you will just squeeze it and you will try to get product out and you will notice, oh, um, I've run out. And you will then have to either run out right away to get it because you need it or um, you will be um, using other products. So I find this very inconvenient for both the user as well as the company because if I um, end up using this one up on the go and I don't know this and I have a different, um, in this case, eye cream at home, I will just go with the other eye cream honestly. I will not repurchase this anytime soon because odds are the other eye cream just lasts a lot longer. So um, with this particular one I know that if I use this every morning and every evening I have a pretty much exactly one month's worth of product in here. But and this is the catch, I have recently started uh, using an eye serum that I um, have um, had found and that came recommended. So I am using this on a regular basis as well. So um, I don't know exactly when this is going to run out and this I find a problem. And this is not the only issue with these eye creams. I have body lotions, luckily the one body lotion I'm using right now with a pump dispenser actually is um, the packaging is um, light enough so that I can actually see through and I know where exactly I am and I have a ton of body lotion left. So, um, But I have plenty of products with a packaging like this with a pump dispenser where you have no clue where you're at. By all means, leave a small little um, window-like um, part here on the sides where you don't have the, the wrapper with the information of the, about the product where you can look in. Because I think that way I can actually know when I'm going to run out. I don't want to have a backup of this one at home because odds are I I will um, just have um, a product go bad because I don't think about it. And um, this is just, I find this very inconvenient. So um, this is my pet peeve number one. All kinds of pump, um, pump dispensing packagings where you can't look in and where the packaging is just too opaque to figure out where you're at with your product. Then we have um, these guys here, and I brought two because um, I find both annoying, but um, this is a tad bit better than this one. So these are loose powders with sifters, and my problem is that in this case, the powder actually gets out even when the sifter is closed. So um, even when the sifter is closed, I have products swirling around in here, and it's just a pain in the butt. What I also dislike is that often enough I get too much product out and there's no way to get it back inside. So um, that is another reason why I now have product um, in the top part here. Because I just filled it back in 
But I don't think that is the point of um, this kind of product. I would much prefer it if it were um, much easier to actually um, figure out the right amount to get out of out. So um, that is a pet peeve. But um, why I brought this on top is because while the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, which I brought as an example, actually has a lid that closes up, this one here doesn't. I hope you can see that. There is no thingy that you can twist around to close the holes. This is completely open, which is why I have this going on. There's a ton of product up here that needs to be used up eventually, and it is just a pain in the butt. On the other hand, if the product actually stayed in, I um, could use a fluffy brush and just get the product out by using that fluffy, fluffy brush because a few bristles always get in through the holes. And then I can pick up the product. So I like this actually quite a lot. Um, it's just that the product um, flies all over and it's a pain in the butt. By the way, this is always dirty. I had to clean this up for this video because it's always it always has um, product um, flying around. And um, this has to do with the fact that this is a more matte finish for the lid. This is shimmery. It just flies off. I can blow this off the packaging. With this one, it doesn't work. Then, um, another pet peeve of mine is um, stuff like this. This is an eyeshadow. Now, I can look on the back to figure out what color it is, but even then, I only see that it says pale barley. What color is it? I want to know. I want to be able to see my colors up front. I don't want to have to go and open them up all the time to see what color it is that I'm picking out. I want to see it through the packaging. And I have enough eyeshadows that actually have a window in the top part where you can just see through and you know what color you have going, what you're picking out. If I had more of these Burberry eyeshadows, for example, um, I would always have to pick each, every, each, each individual eyeshadow up and look on the back of the um, of the um, packaging to see what name it says. And then maybe I know which color that is and if I don't, I will still have to um, go and open this one up. So um, I'm not too happy with this. As an example, window. I can look inside and know what colors are in here. Now, um, another problem of mine is actually um, packaging like this. This has this felt, it's not felty, it is um, more like this smooth packaging. This um, it has a very nice feel to it when you touch it, but and mine looks fairly clean to be honest because I um, I tried to clean this up and I try to not mess around with it too much and I don't travel with it. But um, this already is a lot more dirty than it used to be when I first got it. So um, this is something I despise but we all know the Naked um, One palette so um, this is just something I don't like. I could also have brought my um, It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Volume 1 palette. Same thing. Same thing. I don't like this material on a eyeshadow palette or any powder powder product palette because it's just it is bound to get dirty. So I despise that. However, the good thing about this one is the closure. <clears throat> this leads me to the Naked 2 palette, and yes, I am bitching about Urban Decay. I like Urban Decay in theory, but you hear that? I hate that. I don't like that sound. It is annoying. And um, every single time, it happens. I don't like it. It just um, it is way too loud. I love the fact that this is something I can just wipe up, uh, wipe up, and um, I'll I'll have a clean palette again. But the closure is a pain. Also, what I have noticed is that if I don't press down on both sides, I frequently um, don't close one side um, completely and then I have one side slightly open. I'm not sure if this is good for packaging, most likely it's not. So um, this is another pet peeve of mine. <clears throat> that leads me um, to more packaging pet peeves, of course, because that is the theme. <clears throat> now another packaging pet peeve of mine is stuff like this. I like tubes, no questions asked. They are usually very nice, unless they are so hard that I can't press product out. At the moment, I don't have any of those tubes here, but I felt like it needed to be mentioned. Um, if I can't press the product out completely and if there's no way I can cut it open because the packaging is just too hard and sturdy, 
I do not like it. I want to be able to use up every single bit. I want to use up as much as possible at least. What I despise about this one is the massive amount of air in here. Now, if I, I have the light over there so I can see exactly where I am, the product starts here. And I've used this mm, four times. I don't use that much. I use maybe a pea size of the, of, um, the product in here. So I guarantee you this was not completely full. And I don't like that. What is with this up here? If you don't give me as much product, then why don't you just get rid of the excess packaging? On the brighter, this is very sleek, by the way. So um, I am testing this product, by the way, this Decatrice Prime and Fine Pore Refining Anti-Shine Base, mattifying, long-lasting and oil-free. I am testing this right now. I have this on today under my e.l.f. Um, what is it? Uh, my e.l.f. foundation. I don't know what it's called exactly. I'll look it up and um, link it down below or put it in here. So um, I don't get why there is so much air up here. I, it doesn't make sense to me. And the last one, nail polishes of all types. Now, I hope you can see this. This brush does not touch the bottom. How am I supposed to get every single bit of product out of here if the brush does not touch the bottom? There's no way, let's face it. And um, what I also despise is that I have to actually then... Where is it? <clears throat> use a piece of paper and... Um, Pour some nail polish out on a piece of paper so that I can use up the rest of the nail polish. No, I don't want to stop using my nail polish when there is still almost half a centimeter, if not more, of product in here. I have that issue with this um, co-nail polish right now. I like the shade. I have it on. I have it on my toenails, or I'm in the process of applying this on my toenails at least. But at the moment, um, only the tiniest tip of the brush is in the product. So my problem is that I have to pour this out and there is still a lot of product in here. I am at the bottom of the H. So there is enough product in here that I should still be able to get out. But I only have a tiny bit of product on the tip of my brush even if I shake it. I completely have to scroll this, um, um, screw this shut, shake it to make sure I have enough product on the brush to apply it on one or maybe two nails. And I'm just not okay with this. I find this very, very annoying. Either the companies figure out a better way to produce their packaging, or, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm wasting so much product because... Look at this. This is nail polish I had poured on here that... Um, pretty sure I could have painted another nail or two with them, with the, what is on here. No doubt about that, honestly. So, um... I don't like this. <clears throat> now my, my issue is when, um, when I have to pour um, nail polish out, I inadvertently get out too much product, which leads to this. And I'm fairly certain that, ooh, shoot. <clears throat> I'm fairly certain that if I had this, nail this bit of nail polish left, I could paint at least another nail, if not more. I could, like, completely. I need, I need two to three coats for this color. So, um, I could paint a lot of nails with this if it were in the bottle and if I get it out of, could get it out of the bottle with the brush only. So, um, truly hate this. It is absolutely annoying and a pain in my butt, honestly. I don't like it. So, I was fairly certain that I did not remember all my packaging pet peeves so right when I was filming the video. In fact, it was a matter of really um, taking more time to think about them and also just using a few products a couple more times just to remember why I don't like using them. And, um, no. So, um, Regarding packaging pet peeves, I was already sure when I filmed the first part of this video that I would not remember all of my pet peeves and the issues I have with certain types of packaging. So um, I decided to leave it open and to um, add when I came up with a few more products just because I knew there is more out there. And I actually did that and so um, I'm going to tell you a bit more about my packaging pet peeves. For starters, I'm going to um, 
use this guy here. If this is a fixing spray or a setting spray that you just spray on you're, after you've applied your makeup um, to make it last longer. My problem is that while it seems to be a fine mist, it does not disperse as much as I would like it to disperse. So um, often enough I have really like um, one part of my face is quite wet and even if I move the, the spray while doing it, it just doesn't move it enough so that um, I don't have part of my face wet and the other just still in need of a setting spray. So that is something I just don't like. Um, and this is fairly good actually. I had much worse setting sprays. I had um, ones that were very... Um, well, pretty much you had a, a string of water come out and um, that's just not okay. Uh, no, I don't want to spray that in my face. And um, so this is just one example. The mist here, granted, is um, on the finer side, but I know that it there are setting sprays and um, especially these um, spray thingies that have a much finer mist. And that is what I would wish for all setting sprays to have. Then another pet peeve is um, stuff like this. Uh, this is my um, hand peeling, hand manicure thingamabob. And my big issue is that this, let me show you, this has a teeny tiny hole right here where the product is supposed to squeeze out. I like that they're trying to save me product in there, but let's face it, this stuff does not come out of that, of there. Like uh, when it was still full, I would already have to pretty much lay down on it so that product came out. And um, I think the issue is that this small hole is just, it doesn't work for the um, gritty, thick texture of the product in here. I know you're supposed to just um, massage the packaging and make it more liquidy and warm it up with your hands, but really, really, no, uh-uh, no. Just give me a better opening. You can easily put this in a jar and I can take out as much as I need. I know it might dry out a bit faster, but now I had to cut it open when there was still a lot left because otherwise I couldn't get it out. Same difference. So I'd rather have a jar that I can um, open and close as I please and I can reach into the product and get as much as I want. It's much more easy to use that way. And this was just, um, yeah, really not nice because it is it is way too thick. And I don't know if you can see, but I mean, squeezing that, there's a lot of air up here and space, so that is manageable. You can't get it out on the bottom though. So um, that is really annoying. Then we come to um, stuff like this. And um, with this, I'm trying to say actually this like over excessive packaging. This is the product and this is the packaging just because they had to put in one of those awful brushes. For one, 95 to 99% of all brushes that come with makeup just don't cut it. I have my own brushes. I don't want a brush in there. It might be easy for beginners. It, there might be people who can work with this. I believe Emily Noel 83 knows how to actually use those sponge tip applicators that often come with um, eyeshadows. I can't. I can't work with those. They are a pain in the butt. And I don't want to have them come with every single product. What I do usually is after this has fallen out five or six times, I just throw the brush out or the sponge tip applicator or whatever. And then I have this gap down here that is not doing anything. I just don't like it. It's very annoying in my opinion. And then we come to another product. And this is... Um, Technically, it's quite a nice product, no question asked. The color is beautiful. So this is a sleek pigment or a sleek eye dust actually in the shade Tigress. And I hope you can see that this is a very nice bronzy golden shade. I absolutely love the color. But um, let me try and show this without. Do you see all that stuff that is up top there? And um, I mentioned this with my sifters already, that I just often enough don't like them. 
My other big problem here is that this is a very big jar and I know MAC pigments came in those big jars as well. And they are even open, which is even worse in my opinion. So um, my issue is that when am I supposed to use this up? Let's be real, I am not using only this particular eyeshadow for weeks and weeks and years on end to use this up. And this comes with um, 6.5 grams and it's supposed to be good for 12 months only. So technically this has expired three years ago, probably. And there is still plenty left. Um, looking at the packaging, I believe I am about here. So, hope you can see this. This line here. That's where I'm at. So, I don't get it. I really don't and it doesn't make sense. It is just very frustrating for me. I mean, I could have I could have shared this with a friend if I had friends who use makeup, but I don't. So, um, I'm kind of stuck with this giant ass jar of pigment or eye dust actually for the sleek that um, I can either throw out or try to figure out what to do with. But it's really annoying and I don't like the fact that these are just so big. I much prefer actually smaller samples. An eyeshadow usually has 1.1 gram, 1.5 grams, give or take, like I think that's the normal normal amount of product in an eyeshadow and that is that is great, honestly, I like that. That is a product that you can actually use up within the 12 months that they're supposed to be good for. But 6.5 grams? I don't think so, not real. And there's more product in the cap now. So um, yeah, I'm not a fan of this, um, of these giant tubs of product um, when they are something that you don't use as much. It's just, I find it very un illogical just to have that much um, because you don't use it up fast enough. And also I would have maybe liked to try more shades, but because I had to, sp I had these big to um, these big jars, I I just won't. I don't even know if Sleek makes those eyelashes anymore. So, yeah. So um, now these were my packaging pet peeves for sure. I have not come up with any more since I filmed the first part of this video. So I'm gonna call this one a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments regarding my packaging pet peeves, or if you have packaging pet peeves of your own. I would love to read your comments. In fact, um, who knows, maybe I forgot some. Just because I didn't think about it or because I just got so used to these little issues that we have with packaging that I just don't really bother with them anymore. So um, leave them in the comments down below. I would really appreciate it. I would love talking to you in the comments. And um, yeah, if you're not sub subscribed yet, um, hit that subscribe button to hear about more of my videos. And um, yeah, I will see you guys soon. I hope you have a great day. Bye.